Ikar is a, is a community that's built on all of these elements of, of paradox. We were raised reform. Traditional conservative. Jonah grew up very orthodox. Men sitting in the main sanctuary on the floor. I grew up knowing no Jews. And then the women up and to the side. I wasn't Jewish. So I was like super Jewish. That came later. Things that you would never imagine could fit together in the same conversation are actually the fuel and fire of the community. Ikar is just so different. It's not what you expect when you walk into a synagogue. There are people in their 20s and their 30s and their 40s, and they're all engaging in prayer. It's like an embrace to walk into services. You see the people you know, you hear the sounds that you love. The prayers are in Hebrew and the music is very beautiful and draws you in. At Ikar, the music can be the prayer. Even if you don't know one word of Hebrew. We pray when we sing, the notes, the melodies, the, the rhythms, that's prayer. And you know that you're going to be confronted with ideas that are challenging and interesting. From the moment I set foot in there, I could just tell that people were really interested in being there. Uh, it's just a lot of fun to be a temple, that's different. Ikar can make you laugh, but it really makes you think. The fiery experience of coming together for davening is actually made manifest in the way that we live in the world. We were helping people plant a garden um, in a halfway house in Los Angeles, and I looked around and there were my two boys and my wife and I, and we were hands in the dirt and I just felt like we were doing something great. The Torah of Ikar is the Torah of justice. This is really what Takuna Olam and Helping the World is all about. There's a kind of deep piety and reverence and commitment to the tradition, and there's also this incredible impiety and irreverence and sense of humor about what we're doing. You can be any type of Jew. You can show up dressed like this. This is what I would wear on Yom Kippur. I like that I can wear jeans. Yes, you do. There's no pomp and circumstance. This is a place where people can really be themselves. There's no, there's no rabbi speak here. I can't even say please rise and please be seated without, without laughing because it's just, there's a, it's a place of such deep honesty. You can be Jewish in whatever way that you want to be Jewish and whatever way resonates with you. I'm never judged. It's a community of constant growth and transformation and evolution. It's fluid. It's welcoming and warm. Ikar has given me a much larger social circle. It's way cooler than you think. Like female Jews, not just on J-Date and the little clips, you know, so you have to like click through. I get to see them live. I could go by myself and uh, there's gonna be a lot of people there that I know. Every one of us has friends that we love there. And that's something that makes me really happy. Ikar's actually given me faith in the Jewish future. Ikar is community. Innovation. Passion. Family. It's music and it's joy. Progressive. Questioning. Socially relevant. Mighty. Moving. Very warm. Homey. Homey. Loving. Comfy. Challenging. Okay. Lively. Home. My Jewish home. Ikar is awesome. It's about committing ourselves to living in the world as it is while always dreaming about transforming the world into what it ought to be. <laughs>